From creating an application at just 15 years old and then selling it two years later for $30 million to another teenager that made millions selling office furniture online. We take a look through 10 of the youngest self-made millionaires. Number 10, Tyler Diekman. Tyler Diekman began his career with magic shows at birthday gatherings, and he used to charge around $25 for his one minute appearance. He started his career at 10 years of age, and he started to gather cash like water. He got his first PC when he was 10. He used to repair PCs for his teachers and charge them $15 an hour. At 15 years old, he began his own organization, Cooltronics, and quickly built his career upon this innovation line. He is the most youthful innovation business visionary and became a millionaire before the age of 25. Number 9. Robert Ney Robert Ney's bubble ball game made the 14-year-old inventor millions. While most new mobile game applications get a couple of hundred downloads in the first weeks after dispatch, 14-year-old Robert Ney's bubble ball application made him an overnight tycoon by procuring over $2 million in the initial two weeks. After three years, Ney's first game had been downloaded more than 16 million times, making this youthful wonder, now 17, an exceptionally effective business visionary. He keeps on creating more games under his own label, Ney Games. Number 8. John Kuhn This young man has been making a fortune since the age of 16. He took his adoration for cars into business. He began an automobile parts business in New York City, and he's also the real supplier for Pimp My Ride, an MTV reality show. Besides that, he generally has an extraordinary adoration for fashion, hence going into the industry and launching a clothing business, which earned him more than $40 million. Number 7. Sean Belnick Sean Belnick was fascinated by the idea of selling things online, so at 14 years old, he planned his own particular site to fill that very need. Having a startup budget plan of $500 for publicizing funds and $100 for web facilitating charges, he started offering little things like Pokemon cards to get himself acquainted with the procedure. After a short time, he had changed to selling office furniture on his new site, bizchair.com, a move that fetched him a whopping $24 million by the age of 20. He now has more than 75 employees who work for him and is setting his sights on the $50 million mark. Number 6. Commander Sparkles Commander Sparkles is an expert gamer who transformed his leisure activity into a profession. He shared his first video on July 1, 2013, and though he was somewhat of an amateur in the YouTube world, he initially began posting walkthrough type videos for individuals who were stuck on specific levels of Minecraft, yet he didn't stop there. He transformed his channel into the spot to be for all things gaming, including instructional recordings for different recreations and parody videos and comedies utilizing the most prominent computer games out there. He's currently a standout among the most productive stars on YouTube and is worth $8.2 million. Number 5. Adam Hildreth In 1999, a 14-year-old Adam Hildreth and his six friends launched the popular English social communication site Dubit. Dubit got to be a standout amongst the most famous sites in 2004. By 2005, Dubit was making over $3.7 million. Adam later established Crisp Thinking, which created software that would shield individuals from cyber dangers, online provocation, and spamming. It works intimately with both internet service providers and kid insurance associations to shield kids and young people from nasty things on the internet and he is positioned 23rd in the top 100 wealthiest youngsters in the UK. Number 4. Nick DeAlosio Nick is a self-trained software engineer that began his instruction content on the subject with a duplicate of C for Dummies and how-to videos on the web. When he became capable of programming, Nick launched his first application when he was just 12 years old, and from that point on added another application each time that school would let out for summer. Eventually, he built up an application called Trim It when he was just 15, which would consolidate protracted articles into short synopses, going from 1,000 to 140 characters. A Hong Kong billionaire saw the potential and gave Nick $300,000 in funding to make the application perfect. This reworking would go ahead to be called Sumly, an application that Yahoo paid $30 million for a few years later. What's more, Nick was given a position in the organization. Number 3. Leanna Archer At only 17 years of age, Leanna Archer was a business veteran. 
She began her company at nine years old by packaging and selling her own hair pomade to family and friends. Today, she's extended to a full line of natural hair items, rooted in her incredible Haitian grandma's mystery formulas. Archer's company generates over $100,000 yearly, selling online to clients in 80 different nations, and her total assets are pegged at over $3 million. Number two, Marie Bradshaw. For little Maddie Bradshaw, a sophomore at the Hockaday School in Dallas, Texas, standing up before her English class to convey a 45-minute presentation is simple. What's her secret? Bradshaw, only 16, says her confidence originates from being a fiercely successful entrepreneur. When she was 10, Bradshaw designed Snap Caps, an interchangeable magnetic bottle cap accessory that turned into an overnight sensation among tweens. Before long, with help from her mother Diane and sister Margot, she began her own gems business, M3 Girl Designs, which has generated more than $5 million in sales since its inception and sells about 50,000 pieces of jewelry each month. Number 1. David and Catherine Cook Brother and sister duo David and Catherine Cook became youngster moguls by making an online version of the customary secondary school yearbook with MyYearbook.com. Subsequent to moving to Skillman, New Jersey when she was 14, Catherine says she and her siblings started flipping through the nearby yearbook to check whether they recognize any of the students at their new school. That's when they came up with the idea for a social networking site. They began MyYearbook.com when they were 14 and 16 years old. The site now has more than 2 million users and pulls in 20,000 new accounts every day. Now, the young entrepreneurs, who are now much older, run an enterprise estimated at $10 million.